I'm a massive fan of Christmas. I'm the type of person that decorates for Christmas about two months early, already, you know, get my Christmas shopping done. It has become a bit of a family tradition to watch a Christmas movie every night in the lead up to Christmas. Jingle all the way, A Muppet Christmas Carol, Home Alone, Die Hard, they're all in the mix. All of December is a celebration. <laughs> I come from such a big family. We sort of have to be a bit unconventional and because we all can't see each other on December 25. We sort of have to spread it out a bit and, and to me that's just more excuse for, for more chocolate, more more champers. One of the silliest Christmas traditions that we had was that one year I dressed up as Santa and my little cousins absolutely loved it. And then the next year my dad was like, you know, you should dress up as Santa. The, the kids loved it and so, you know, I did. But dad kind of is still like, hey, remember that time you dressed up as Santa? You should dress up like Santa. And I'm kind of like, dad, the kids are like 22 years old now. You know, my cousins who loved it are like full grown adults with proper jobs and like their own places to live. I don't know whether they're gonna buy the pillow under the shirt shtick again. I love the feeling of when I go down the stairs because our bedrooms are up. Only when I get to the very bottom, I can see that there's a bunch of presents under the Christmas tree. Me and my sister opened our presents before anybody woke up because we were so impatient. And I remember my mum walking in going, Evan, why did you open the Christmas presents? Even though I tried to wake <laughs> up five times. I just wake up with all my family, like at six o'clock. I'm like, oh. But you have to wait till six o'clock, then you can wake everybody up. One thing that I always used to do when I was younger, which was on the Google homepage on Christmas Eve, you could kind of track where Santa was. It was a really daggy kind of 3D, <laughs> poorly animated image of Santa. And that always stuck with my head. And every year it's gotten more and more advanced. Now it just feels too real. I like the little 3D, terrible 90s style. One of the daggiest Australian Christmas traditions I know is probably who can do the best bomb dive in the pool. We don't have snow in Australia at Christmas time. We're in the middle of summer. And of course, for people living overseas, they're gonna see a Christmas which is very hot. <laughs> I remember as a kid myself, I would be saying to my mum, why isn't it snowing yet? I think it's kind of nice for people to see a different way of celebrating it. My favourite Christmas tradition would always have something to do with going to the beach or being somewhere where there's a swimming pool and nothing makes me happier when it's a really, really hot day than jumping in the pool and being joined by a grandchild or two would just make it a perfect day for me. Whether you celebrate Christmas with your blood or your chosen family, it is a time for you to bring in the people who are important to you in your life. This film is a wonderful celebration of that. For more festive fun from the Stan Original Film, A Christmas Ransom, click here and subscribe.